Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lumistatic channel. Um, my name is Adam. Uh, this is a new video that we have planned, a new series per se. Uh, we're actually going to go through and do a step-by-step, part-by-part tutorial on how to build specific lights. This is going to be a weekly thing, or we're going to try to make it a weekly thing. So if you do like it, make sure you uh, subscribe, let us know in the comments so that we know that you guys like this stuff and we'll keep making it for you. So what I'm going to have here is I'm going to do a kind of like a semi-tutorial, semi just walk through, try to keep it quick. Um, but we're going to go ahead and turn this 0405 OEM tail light into our famous uh, GD Angel Wings tail light. So this is the first part of a multiple video series. Uh, we'll probably do some edits here and there so that you can refer back to other parts of the video or some other tutorials. But let's just get right into it. For this specific step, all I'm going to need is a paint pen. This is just to show you guys where I'm cutting. A flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Also, um, in a, one of our previous videos, I actually have two sonic cutters I brought over. I'm actually going to be using both of them. You obviously don't need both. Um, you can technically also use a Dremel for this. A Dremel would be faster, but for the sake of uh, accuracy and precision, we're going to be using the sonic cutters. So just to get right into it, we're going to go ahead and take out these four screws here. There's one right here, here and here. So we'll go ahead and take it out. Okay, so once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to cut it. So I'm gonna take this marker. This is mostly for you guys to see what I'm doing, but the target is to basically cut along this ridge you see here. So I'm gonna mark it out just so you can kind of see what's going on. This is a really fat marker, so just uh, apologies. But we're gonna cut right at this edge. Right at this corner where you see that light meet. And then once we get here, because of the limitations of the sonic cutter, I'm actually gonna bring it in a little more and then just bring it under this shroud like this. Um, basically keep it realistic for the sonic cutter to be able to reach. Right here at this area, I'm gonna just go over it like this Keep going down. Once I reach this corner, I'm gonna round that corner, hit this curve again. I'm actually gonna cut um, in between the foam area. And then I'm gonna continue just down this corner until I reach the end. So you're likely gonna to need to remove the foam area um, to be able to get a cutter in there, this piece. Um, with a Dremel, the Dremel blade is usually long enough that it's not an issue, but for this purposes, I will take this off. Um, just be careful if you are doing an older light to not rip it. Um, so what I like to do is I like to just squeeze it like I'm doing, um, just to separate it from the double-sided uh, adhesive that's normally on there, and I can always replace that later. So I'm going to save this for later, and just as a reminder, cut cut right at that edge. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. <clears throat> and I'll try to give some tips if I need to, but this, this probably um, will probably be fast forwarded a bit. So make sure my sonic cutter is nice and tight. And also keep mental note of the direction that you're cutting so you don't hit the lens. So I'm going to try to do this in a way that you guys can watch. Starting with, starting with this. Ah. And you don't want to go too deep because if you do go too deep, you run the risk of hitting this inside chrome piece. And if you do, even just a little bit, you run the risk of basically um, fusing the plastic to this back housing, which makes separating it a little more inconvenient.
Hey Ryan, do we also get uh, cool Instagram preview videos we can post? I actually have this open now. One of the biggest things that you're gonna have to deal with, especially if you're using a sonic cutter and not a Dremel, is making sure that um, as you're cutting, you don't accidentally fuse this housing to the chrome inner piece. So I actually have this open, so I popped it out. Um, and what I did was I slowly walked the screwdriver over, um, as you may have seen in that previous video, um, just to pry it out. So now that I have it open, it just opens just like that. And if the camera can show, um, kind of just like right here, you can kind of see where the sonic cutter was cutting into both this housing and starting to get into here. So that's just something you have to watch out for. Um, so now we're gonna do the next most quote unquote risky part of this, which is getting this housing out of this light. So depending on how well you cut right on the ridge, this either is really easy or really hard. Um, I would recommend you play it safe. If you feel like you cut left too much of this housing on this side, this will be really hard to do. I actually just recommend you cut it and leave a gap um, that you can always seal later. But what you're gonna do is actually you're going to take a screwdriver, a flathead. Let's see if I can do this uh, while showing you guys. You're gonna take a screwdriver and you're basically gonna pry it up and out. So I'm gonna think of the cleanest way to do this for you guys. Turn this stuff off. Um, hmm. That should be good. So I can get a screwdriver here. And what I'm doing is I'm slowly prying up and out. Um, slowly, emphasis on slowly, because you don't want the screwdriver to accidentally slip like that, but hit the inside of the lens. Um, it's not the end of the world if you do, but that just means you have extra polishing and sanding you need to do, and that's no fun for anyone. So, I'm going to see if I can wiggle my screwdriver in here. Grab my screwdriver. Once you get a screwdriver underneath the housing, it does get a lot easier. So that's, there we go. So I have a screwdriver underneath. I made sure to not let it hit the lens here, right? And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get my two screwdrivers. I'm just gonna slowly walk it through. Put a screwdriver here, pull this out. Screwdriver here, pull this out. Slowly. Okay. Flathead. Sorry, flathead screwdriver. And, uh, Wiggle it. So, uh, for this specific light, it doesn't look like I'm quite comfortable pulling it out. It is a really tight fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe. And I'm gonna go ahead and just trim this, this area to separate the two. Just so I don't run the risk of cracking this light. I'm gonna cut the two and separate a little more.
There we go, much better. I think I have a little bit of this bottom half to contest with. So I'm gonna... Again, just be careful. Take my time. And wiggle it out. Oh. So close. There we go. So just like that, we have successfully separated an 0405, albeit this one's a JDM, so this one's actually a little harder. 0405 Subaru Light. Um, so next up, we're gonna discuss how we're gonna prep this uh, this piece to accept the panels. Um, yeah, so next video we're gonna uh, talk about how this gets prepped and then we're gonna start wiring the panels and go through the rest. So make sure you like, follow, subscribe again. And let us know you like these videos. Uh, we're gonna try to make these again once a week. Uh, try to get these regular thing. Um, so as long as you guys like this, as long as you guys think this is useful for you, let us know and we'll keep making this. I'll see you guys next week.